you to start writing books when i started writing as a school girl of your age i used to write i told you i used to write a diary 25 lines a day maybe i was 8 years old i think i started writing 8 years old 9 years old only 25 lines by 16 or 17 i used to write good essays actually i remember when i was 16 i wrote the india a uh, people who are born after death of gandhi i wrote something the india i have seen i won't remember the title now after death of gandhi what i see in india or something that imaginary things but i never published anything when i was 20 i think i started publishing short stories small one but my first book came when i was 28 i think but i wrote maximum number of books in the last 20 years because with infosys foundation i started going to all corners of india meeting film actresses politicians uh, prostitutes devdasis kamatipura uh, schools uh, army navy uh, camps uh, ladakh region uh, north east region and working in hurricane all these experiences taught me the reality of life and i could write more but i started my first book i think was published when i was 28 i think ma'am ma'am this question sort of actually i'm so happy one boy is asking question look at girls they're so smart i always believe girls are smarter than boys ma'am this one question is actually from an older brother like as my role is an older brother how do you tell someone that you're there to help them and when they ask you questions how do you help them out no i didn't get if somebody asked me to help how do i help yeah and how do you explain to someone that you're actually there to help them and not to like just stand and watch okay please sit down what you know in in, in the infosys foundation we get uh, 400 uh, calls a day all to the incoming outgoing 400 around 350 emails and about 200 letters or something it's a huge actually we get we have our own process of elimination first we elimination we do that i will tell you a story before that i don't know whether i have told this to some lecture or not i don't remember once about 15 years back i was called as a chief guest to one music program and normally i go little early than the schedule because i don't like to go late it's a bad manners even today i think 5 minutes i was earlier than the schedule because i don't like to go late so i went there that day 15 minutes early i sat at the corner at the back you know and there were hardly few people because i was quite early two women well off women with their diamond earrings and their silk sari and or sitting and talking and they were making uh, remarks my daughter is very dull the second one told how she will get mad i am worried she should take up a job then the boy will, boy is like a girl who is employed so she said yes yes i made i was thinking she said okay why can't she become a teacher then she told no i sent her to school and they said she is not capable sent her back then she said oh tell her to do some social work then the other lady said is it that easy yeah yeah it's very easy you have not seen sudha murthy every day she comes in the paper her husband has earned money she doesn't have a brain so <laughs> that's okay that's okay that's okay that's what they think so she writes a check every day she comes in the paper so your daughter can become a social worker like her i said okay now let me talk you know because there's something connected to me so i tapped their shoulders and said have you seen sudha murthy have you met her oh of course we met her they said when did you meet her last today morning i said uh, same narayan murthy's wife they said yes i said i am sudha murthy no that lady looks at me and tells who oh, you have changed so much from morning to evening <laughs> i told her no i want to clarify certain things with you that's why then i have talked to you don't ever look down upon teaching job a teacher is the most respected job i ever think in any compared to any job because they are creating character and that is the greatest thing look at software people what do we create only programs whereas a teacher creates that many characters don't ever look down upon that i said if a doctor makes a mistake the patient will go 6 feet below the ground if a magistrate makes a mistake the person will be hung 6 feet above the ground if a teacher makes a mistake the entire batch is wiped out and it is it is such a sacred job don't ever look down upon that coming to social work i said just because one has money one won't become social worker one can be a donor you know a person sits in front of me in 10 minutes i should measure whether he or she is eligible for the help what you give it is only a lip sympathy we talk if i am giving money how much i should give and when i have to stop that means i have to assess a person sitting in front of me in 10 minutes it is not like 10 days or something time i don't have because i will have 17 appointments a day 
So when a person comes to meet us and asking money, before that we do homework. For what they are asking, I have a loan of 50,000, we don't give. I'm building a mandir church or a masjid, we don't give. You are, I'm, I'm a Brahmin, I said it is not a criteria to be in life. You belong to one or other community. I'm a Kannadiga, very good, but we don't give any money. I belong to Congress or General, by BJP, we don't give any money to such. So we go on eliminating first. Then it comes to heart. In that, if we help a person, we don't do any deep sympathy. Oh, I'm there with you, such things we don't talk. We give, we don't give. If we give, with the condition we give, if we don't give, there is nothing to give. Then, if we want to give, we go on a simple principle. If I help for a project, is it going to help lots of poor people in that area? If I help, people ask us, I got an admission in Harvard, will you help us? I said no. In the same money, I rather give 20 children who are doing engineering. Because one fellow going to Harvard doesn't make any difference to me. But I rather make 20 engineers who are more useful to their families and the country. So, larger effect or impact on a larger people is always our criteria. And, that's the way go, and that is the way we go on assessing things. Then before that we do a lot of homework. Suppose I want to give something to a hospital. Before that we say, who are the people? Who are the trustees? How are the trustees? Are they corrupt? Who are the beneficiaries? Okay, all the studies we do, it's like a horoscope kind of study we do, and then we give. In our work, if I have 100 hours, I almost spend 70 to 75 hours on investigation and 25 hours only on execution. Like writing a check takes two minutes actually. Then after giving the check, then we have a milestone. First year how they did, second year how they did, third year how they did. So we want all the reports. Then we send a third party inspection how work they have done. So it's a quite a complicated. But we do a lot of work before we give money. I've read a few of your books and uh, I want to ask the question if uh, they uh, are really based on your life and they have a real meaning. Which book you have read? I've read The, uh, the Secret of the Lost Temple, I think. Okay, I'll tell you a story about it. I, I know the, tr the real things I'll tell you. There are some books which are 100% real or 99% real. 1% I change the name, make the situation different. Wise and otherwise, the day I stopped drinking milk, how I taught my grandmother to read, they're all real. The old man and his God, they're all real stories. For children, uh, grandma's bags of stories, a magic drum, the bird with the golden wings, they're all imaginary. Whereas this book, The uh, Magic of the Lost Temple, is 50%. I have a granddaughter by the name of Anushka, and she is four years old. I'm assuming when she's 10, she'll be like, what I have written there. And uh, the grandmother in that is me, okay? That is me. And that was my granddaughter. And I lived in a village, but now I live in Bangalore. I assumed I, I go back and live in my village and Anushka comes from Bangalore. How I will interact with her? They're all real. And, but imagination is I'm going to village. The pure imagination in that story is three. The Somanaka temple, there are three temples, right? That's all imagination. 50% is truth, 50% is imagination. That's for Nuni I wrote. And even there I call her a Nuni in that. Thank you for this. <laughs>